Good morning and welcome to day two of the Stanford Carbon Management Workshop on Natural Climate Solutions. My name is Sarah Salzer and I'm the Managing Director of the Stanford Carbon Removal Initiative and will be your host for this event. I would like to start by asking everyone to mute their microphones if they have not done so already. The goal of this workshop is to create a dialogue which will allow us to identify gaps and opportunities for research as well as to, as to come up with technologies and or creative strategies that can bring about further reductions in atmospheric CO2. Yesterday, we had some great talks and the take home messages included. We face a dual challenge of scaling up energy production while also reducing emissions to net zero. In addition, natural climate solutions can be an important part of the solution, but they don't reduce the need to both quickly decarbonize and develop alternative negative emissions technologies. Natural climate solutions offer potential for co-benefits and could engage and inspire the public, but there are also risks to permanence and potential impacts on other ecosystem services. The longer we wait to mitigate by decarbonization, the more expensive it will become. The current carbon price is not nearly enough to meet billion ton negative emission scales, Political, social, and economic constraints and enablers are critical unknowns. And finally, oceans store a huge amount of carbon, but are governed by very complex chemical and physical processes over geologic time. They can be manipulated, but with potentially negative feedbacks. I am certain that some of these themes will come up again during our presentations today. Today's theme is challenges and opportunities in natural climate solutions. And the objective is to take a deeper look at control and feedback mechanisms, human interactions, and impacts. 